So unfortunate. Um, my name is Calum. I am a psychic, an empath, tarot card reader, an oracle of sorts, an aspiring shaman who found their bell. Um, if you have a sound sensitivity, I would turn your volume down because this can be a little loud. Um, yeah, I'm gonna ring it right now. So. I didn't know that was in my bag. Um, yeah, we're gonna do a collective reading today. Just general messages. I don't, I, I don't know. There's some things that I kind of want to talk about, but I feel like they will come up in the reading as we go. Uh, after, I did a reading yesterday, and it kind of, uh, we kind of ended on an um, abrupt note. Um, I wanted to keep going, and I did. I recorded a whole nother, like, hour. Um, but I just wasn't in the headspace to keep reading. The message wasn't coming through very clear. But there's, I'm, I'm interested to see if what I spoke of in that unreleased reading will come back up. Because um, I was very dysregulated and unprepared for how heavy that energy was. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We're just going to see what comes through. Um, yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, I am. The sun. A lot better than my day yesterday. Because I took my medication. I just ate. Frankly, not enough. But I ate. And that's something. Uh, yeah. So what does the collective need to know this time, Spirit? Messages for the collective. We have the King of Swords. The Three of Cups. Four of Cups and Three of Wands. These two, I'm going to pair them together. I feel like they're... Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I'm, I'm like, this is like promotion energy. Uh, the King of Swords with the Three of Cups feels like um, you're... In a space of, um, like, leading others, um, the Two of Pentacles, yeah, it, it's like you're managing some sort of, um, how do I describe that? Give me one more. The Queen of Cups. It, yeah, like, um... A lot of people might be turning to you right now um, because of some sort, I, because like you're being seen as very um, like balanced, but emotionally. Um, and because of that, people want to, to come to you um, for advice. Someone, I don't know, but it's like with the Three of Cups, it, it's almost like you're being recognized for, um, wow, the Empress is on the bottom of the deck. You're being recognized for the work that you've put in, and people want to take advantage of, isn't the right words, but, like, um, they know that you're the person to turn to. Um, the Four of Cups with the Three of Wands. Hmm. Give me, give me more on that. It's almost like you're... Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles with a bunch of other cards. I'm gonna put it back. That was too many. I don't feel like it. We have the Seven of Wands. I'm gonna read on the Seven of Wands. You know your destination and the obstacles you may find on the way, but you are perfectly capable of reaching it and overcoming any barriers that lead beyond. So, you're contemplating some sort of movement. Some sort of movement towards, like, a desire. This feels connected to yesterday's reading. 
I would assume so, because I'm just reading for the collective. This is what the energy we're all in at the moment. We have the Nine of Cups. What else? We have the King of, Pen King of Pentacles. Ooh. It's almost like you've made the Seven of Cups. It's like you've made a decision to... Like, maybe you started a new enterprise, and you're kind of, like, celebrating yourself for that. The Seven of Cups. Hmm. There's a lot of bees around. Ooh, a Ten of Wands. Or Ten of Swords, not Wands. I might need to move. My phone's in the sun. I don't want it to overheat. The Ten of Pentacles. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move closer to the river. Hold on. I'm gonna put these ones back. And we'll just keep the new ones. Sorry. <laughs> I almost feel like this, this here is connected to the, the message. In that, like, you're moving to a place that's better suited for you. So, yeah, there we go. Okay. I thought sitting in the sun would be nice, and it was, but it's also too hot for my phone. I wish I had my bandana. Um, <laughs> don't mind the intermission, y'all. Um, okay, so... Nine of Cups, King of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Give me more on the Ten of Swords. What What is this Ten of Swords about? Huh. This is like... Ooh... Hold on, I might have to like pull all these cards back out because I'm. It, the vibe I'm getting is like reconnecting from with someone from your past. Um, but like, I'm I'm hearing like turning a new leaf. Uh, but it's gonna take going through some like real uh heavy emotions like there's some shit that needs to be processed between the two of you the nature of this relationship is unclear at the moment let's get more what does the collective need to know let's just get three cards please the six of cups or no the ten of cups okay the king of swords again interesting it's like there's someone from the past that um wants to come forward to speak to you to like make things right because uh they know that like there's a lot of good that you could do together um like they see you as this this king of swords and they know that in coming forward to talk about whatever this uh 
Ten of Swords in the past was um, they know that you won't be like reactive. Um, and I especially think that because of the, because, because we saw the, the Empress earlier uh, on the bottom of the deck. And with the Queen of Pentacles here, it's like they, they see you as a very stable person. Um, give me more. Yeah, we have the Three of Swords, the Hanged Man Reverse, and the World Reverse. Uh, I'm only I'm only gonna take Major Arcana in Reverse. We have the Nine of Wands also. Um, yeah, it, it's like they want you to see this this Three of Swords, this betrayal, in a new light. Um, like everything's not as it seems. Give me more on the world reverse. What? Clarify that. The hermit reverse. Yeah, they're like... We have the knight of wands. Um... There was some kind of miscommunication. Yeah, I literally have five of wands. Uh, the Knight of Swords, some kind of miscommunication about something. Page of Pentacles, the Five of Cups. Um, this was like a miscommunication, I want to say by hand of a third party almost. Like somebody was spreading rumors or something. Um, like trying to make you believe something that wasn't true. Uh... The Knight of Swords coming after the Five of Wands makes me think that um, there's, like, a truth that needs to come out about what this person desires and about the grief that they feel over this. They're coming out of hiding to express this. Um, because right now, you're viewing this as the world reverse. Like, there was some great betrayal, like, the... It, like, I'm getting, like, psyop energy. Like, like you may feel like everybody was working against you, but in reality, it was this one person kind of, um... Like, orchestrating things behind the scenes, kind of. Um, and they're, they're standing in their Nine of Wands energy. They're very... I, I get the sense that they were scared to do so in the past, but now they... There's like a sense of justice behind it. Like she, I mean, look at how she's standing. She's like ready to take on whatever comes her way. Let's shuffle again. Oh, I just saw the tower on the bottom of the deck before I put the cards in. Interesting. And I just split the deck on the emperor. Whoa. Oh no. Freaking wasp just flew into my coffee. Uh, almost fucking drowned itself going in there. Um, yeah, give me more on I wanna know what the situation in the past was. What 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 happened? What was this? So seven of cups, there was some kind of illusion, like we already talked about. The moon. Uh it actually fell in reverse. Yeah, it's like there was somebody like what somebody desired was twisted. Their like their words were twisted against them. Or yeah, the devil. It, it's like people were trying to create a false uh, false narrative. Like everybody has devil energy. Like we're we all have a balance of light and dark not necessarily a balance it takes a lot of uh work to find balance in that but everybody has light and dark and i get the sense that this person has their their fair share of like dark shit their fair share of wrongdoings but i don't i don't get the sense that this is all they are but this is but like there was somebody that was trying to make you believe that's all they were give me more 
We have the King of Cups, the King of Pentacles. In reality, this person is very mature. They like kind of standing on business type type shit. Uh, we have Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Ten of Swords. Give me one more for the King of Cups, King of Pentacles. Let's just get an even nine. I get one more for the King of Cups, King of Pentacles. Okay, that's like four more. I'm gonna put those back. Hmm, the Lovers. Ooh. Okay, so this could either be, oh, the Ace of Pentacles. Um, this could be, oh, fuck. This could be someone that wants to be in a lover's situation with you, or they're finally making a decision to, like, set the record straight. Uh, and with the Seven of Wands and Eight of Wands, it, it very much feels like that energy. Um... like taking their power back kind of um even if it does result in a ten of swords kind of moment um this may be like kind of a oh, the the character assassination was one of the channelings that came through yesterday in, in yesterday's reading um i don't know if that was the one i released or the one i recorded after but this feels like somebody that was trying to completely undermine this person. I don't have any sense of who the other, this like third party was that was doing this. Like, I don't even really get the sense that you were involved in this. It, it more just feels like hearsay, kind of. I, I don't know. Like, none of this really, it doesn't feel very close to you. I want to know, I want to know, like, how, how does the collective know this person? Who, who is this? Who, who is this person? Um, because I, I don't know the nature of this relationship. And I do get more the sense that, uh, like, I don't, I don't know that this is a lover situation, like a romantic sort of thing. I more get the sense that somebody was just painted in a bad light, like hung around with the wrong crowd kind of deal. Um, okay. I want to learn how to shuffle decks. Like, I saw this one guy, he, like, he fucking, like, flip shit around like that. I don't, I don't even know. That's kind of nice. It makes it better for reversals. I usually don't take reversals because I'm, I think a little bit too much about, like, the orientation of my cards. <laughs> um, okay. I want to know, like, who, how, who is this person to the collective? This, this person who's had their kind of like character smeared the person who fell victim to this smear campaign a king of pentacles queen of wands knight of cups which i got i saw the queen of wands earlier i just put it back because it fell out with a bunch of other cards this is somebody who they could be a business owner Someone who's very passionate about their business, very passionate about some kind of enterprise. And they're they're gonna come forward telling you how they feel. Like that they... Give me more, how's the collective gonna know? Temperance. What's contributing to temperance? Ten of Wands, 
the Five of Wands, the Three of Swords. Six of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely someone from the past. Someone who's had to go through, like, kind of a wild transformation. Yeah, the Five of Cups. This is somebody who has... Um, they've kind of been on their redemption arc, I'm hearing, um, with Temperance and the Six of Cups and the Five of Cups. It's like they've had to find not find like they've had to they've had to cultivate a new sense of being from who they were in the past uh, with the world on the bottom world reverse but um, I more get the sense that it it's the upright meaning of the world in that um, this person has kind of like I'm hearing to hell and back uh, five of cups like they, they've had to process a lot of grief over losing you um, with the Ten of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the Three of Swords under Temperance, it's like they've had, they've been on a very strenuous, arduous journey because of this Five of Wands miscommunication, uh, and they've, they've had to, like, really deal with the betrayal of whoever this third party, like, I still don't know who the third party is, but they've gone through a very powerful transformation over time um interesting very interesting i want to know how the collective is going to feel about this um because i don't know i people i think it's very important to meet people where they are and to not hold on to um past idea like don't like holding grudges is never a healthy or progressive thing to do I think I'm a firm believer that everybody deserves a chance to reinvent themselves. And if somebody is showing that they are making an effort to be better, that's a good thing. I, I, I can't, ri two, 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 as I look at the clock. Um, that, doesn't that doesn't mean that you need to take them back, but I think it's important to recognize when someone is putting in that effort because so many people don't. Uh, let's, get, let's get more. How's the collective gonna feel about this? this person coming back you're gonna have to think on it four cups definitely with whatever they come forward with whatever they come to tell you you're probably gonna have to sit on it and process it and really find for yourself whether you want to keep this person around or not eight of cups reverse and i'm gonna leave it reverse because that's the perfect descriptor for this situation let's get one more Titan. Where is it? Mm, three of Swords. But I get the sense that this person isn't someone you want to keep around. Like we saw earlier, it was the Ten of Swords with the Six of Cups, Ace of Cups. It's like somebody that wants to turn a new leaf, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to allow, allow them space in your life. Um, uh, something that I've had to kind of live by when it comes to an ex of mine. I had basically like, I, I can forgive you for the things that you've done. I can uh, forgive you for the sake of letting that pain go so it doesn't affect me, but that does not mean I'm going to allow you the space in my life to repeat those patterns. Whether, no matter how you show up, you could be on an entirely new path, but you do not have a place in my life. Um, and that's kind of the vibe I get from this. Which is, it, I feel like they're not, how, how is this person going to react to that? Well, let's, let's not focus on that. That's not important. That is very, who cares? If they are upset about that, kind of tough shit. Uh, because ultimately, the energies you keep around are only up to you. Um... Nobody can tell you what does or doesn't belong in your life. Let's get more. How's the collective going to feel about this person coming back? Mm. Temperance. The hermit. 
the King of Pentacles, I kind of get the sense that you are going to recognize the growth that they've had, the, the time that they've spent working on themselves, the King of Pentacles that they've become. But ultimately, with this King of Pentacles also, you have worked too hard to make the same mistakes. Like you're, you're, you're in a place of balance within yourself and you're not willing to give that up for anybody. Very powerful stuff. We're only 25 minutes in. This is like the clearest message I've had in weeks. Okay, let's, let's move away from this energy. What else, what else does the collective need to know at this time? What does the collective need to hear? What's the collective going through? What does the collective need to know at this time? Ooh. Three of Swords. What is this Three of Swords? The Ace of Swords. There's some kind of truth that's gonna be revealed, that's gonna be a little heartbreaking. But you're being asked to maintain your composure. Oh, fuck. Whoa. This is something like, this is like a deep betrayal. I'm hearing don't show your hand. Oh my. The Psychonaut. My stomach like growled when that card came out. This is an opportunity to Stand firm in the identity that you've created for yourself. Queen of Swords, the Five of Cups. Think logically as you process this information. And as grief comes up from this, oh, you know what? I, I feel like this truth is like somebody from the past coming forward and telling you candidly about how they betrayed you and I I'm at like a loss for words Death showed itself in reverse. Eight of Pentacles. Don't let this stop you. Don't let these past energies, these past situations have any control over. We have the Six of Wands and the Moon. It, the Moon came out in reverse, but I'm, I'm flipping it up right. Um, I, it's, it's like, you've worked too hard to let such petty things to hold you back kind of the six of wands is like kind of a card of recognition um like I don't know, again, it, it, like, I just keep, I keep feeling that, that message of, like, you've come too far to let something like this hold you back. To take away from the, um, sense of self that you've cultivated. I'm not exactly sure what the moon means in this context, I'm not gonna lie. Let's read on it.
the moon. Traveling in your dreams and in the waters of the sub subconscious can be dangerous. If you can't tell the difference between dreams and reality, you will lose yourself. If you can't separate unattainable objectives from those you are destined to achieve, then you will waste your time and energy. But have faith. All journeys begin with a dream, and they are, they are the offspring of the desires in your heart. Two dogs accompany you. They are faithful, but tend to lead you in different directions. One towards the dark, the other toward the light. Which of the two will lead you, and where? Not even they know the answer. Are you, you the masters and creators of illusions, or will you rely on their chaotic barking? And I get the sense that you need to follow, listen to your intuition, what, what your heart and what spirit is telling you about this person and telling you about how to process this. That's heavy. And honestly, I, I was gonna pull Lennermond, but I don't, like this message came through so clear. I feel like everything that needed to be said was said. Um, I hope this reading was able to provide you some confirmation and clarity of what you already intuitively know. I want to remind you that these readings are general, so if it doesn't resonate, then just lovingly leave it for whoever the message is for. Um, I hope you have a wonderful morning, day, evening, night, whatever time you're watching this at. Um, yeah, I am sending you so much love and support. You're going to get through this, and remember who you are. Um, yeah, I love you. Bye-bye.